सेट सेट हाँ सेट दिखेगा कैसे if you follow him you know okay um so we're going to speak to simran uh, today who is the mother of little poppins um about her experience and her insight of raising a dog child um and you know we will be discussing how it was how different it is than the conventional motherhood so uh, one day poppins just happened to come to us in a similar fashion like how my other dogs have come to me so he just came to me and i didn't plan it and uh, life was going on but then he came in he was a little boy he came in very scared because he'd come from another family and he couldn't adjust and he was a little kid so he used to cry at night i used to keep my hand on him all night and he used to scare be scared of loud noises and he's 6 years old now but he's still like terrified of uh, flies like those house bees when they go in his ears now he really feels scared so every time something of the sort happens he runs back to me he comes to me so he made me the number one person in his life so i just got lucky i became his mom he made me a mom and that feeling of being a mom to him it very gradually organically crept in so i am very blessed that it happened to me i was least expect like what are the biggest challenges you face being a pet parent and how different it is you know as a human being? if you talk of challenges it's somewhere the main the key challenges i feel are kind of similar uh you know the feeling you have a you have a child so you know the whole feeling of when you go to work or when you're outside somewhere and you leave your child back at home or with somebody you know that whole feeling in your heart that you know it's been a lot of hours you have to get back that little panic attack in your mind so it's always very tough to leave poppins at home and be out for work beyond a particular time like he's trained to be for a couple of hours but after that i start getting a little anxious about it and also like just another parent a dog mom i think also goes through the same thing when your child is sick you you're constantly worrying and you all obviously always thinking that it, it's it's rather that i am sick than he being so sick you know so i think in terms of that the challenges are kind of similar but uh, yeah yeah i mean we all face that what are those challenges that you face and how did you overcome them uh see as a dog mom uh bringing up a dog taking care of him and especially when i tell you that i've always seen dogs and there've always been dogs at home who've come from like other families and after a particular age so they've always been scared or aggressive or scarred so they've always have been like hurt you know so taking care of special kids is a, a different task altogether you need special care so with that i don't think when i've done that then it, i don't find all that challenging i think all that is part of life what i really feel is a challenge for a dog mother is just people around us you know uh rishtedars and sometimes friends and people at large the things they kind of, they say like i've heard from a lot of people who tell me itna paisa aur itni energy aap kharch rahe ho kutte pe aap bachcha hi kyun nahi paida kar lete so that kind of hurts <laughs> then things like rishtedar ghar pe aayenge and then they'll go like kutte ko wahan baandh do and i'm in my head thinking that this is his home you know kutte ko wahan baandh do matlab how does that even work so i think people are always a challenge and uh, initially i used to get very angry about it and craven all later and think that hum inse nahi milenge or whatever but now i think i have become a better person my dog has probably made me a better person 
Yeah. I I with it tactfully and I I very graciously ignore and sometimes I also understand their point of view. You have to have a bond with an animal with a dog to be able to understand it. So they have never had that, so they really don't get it. It's not their fault. If you can share something, you know, where you felt like really really proud of Poppin, like you know something that that he made you feel like oh this is exactly you know I want my child to be. Uh, yeah, yeah, Poppins. You know, I could actually... basically joy and pride. I I just wanted to understand how it is different. You know, when people how it is different talk yeah. about human, yeah, human parenting yeah. and and how they feel very joyous and pride proud about their child. I mean, it has to be same for the dogs as well, right? You know, yeah. for our for our pets, you know, that they do something which which because our life revolves around them, you know, and it has to. If it is not pride and joy, then it is very difficult Mama. to sustain the relationship. Mama. I could honestly write a book on this <laughs> because <laughs> every other day I feel that joy and that pride. I remember when Poppins was a kid, and once I came back home, he had unbuckled my purse, unzipped it, taken the wallet out, eaten the notes up, and I was just like amazed. I was like, "Wow, what is this talent?" So I felt a lot of joy. <laughs> so. For me, Poppins can uh, induce joy in me and pride in me even by doing that. But I'll I'll tell you a better story, a bigger story actually. Uh, we both of us, Rajit and I, we travel a lot. We used to travel a lot. We are very fond of it. So when Poppins came along, we started taking him on the trips also. And in a couple of trips, we realized that he will sit alone by the water body, or he will just look into the mountains, and he will sit alone and he will stare into the valley like for for hours endlessly. So we felt very inspired by it. We felt very proud as parents that uh, look, our child is such a nature lover, and he inspired us so much. And then of course our friends forced us that uh, look at your dog. He is like he's such a wonderful person. He enjoys nature so much. He loves to travel. and how he's blended into your life so well now to three of you travel so that's how he inspired us actually to start our instagram page triple sunday where we can share our travel stories and all so yeah yeah it's total feeling of pride when when we are out with him and how he enjoys nature brings us a lot of pride and has definitely inspired us a lot acha so there is a very uh, old age line that you know motherhood is a life altering experience you know life changing experience and i don't know i don't know how but uh, still i don't know how <laughs> it is not <laughs> but <laughs> but tell me something like do you think being a dog mother is can also be a life changing experience somebody is looking up to you for protection for food for everything it certainly feel that you're in a position which is very important and you the amount of love you get and i think uh, it's it's life altering for a dog mom also because that that bond between a human and a dog i think it's just, it's just magic you have to experience it to exactly. know it especially when you're a mom when you're his top person it's it's really is magic and i also feel that a human in in my opinion and in this lifetime i feel cannot give you the kind of love that a dog can give you it is not possible <laughs> i 10000 person agree to this 10000 person so it is it is certainly the most fulfilling thing and that fulfillment makes it life altering um in your opinion basically i just wanted to understand you know what are the most common misconception that you know people have of a dog mother and a child mother between a dog mother and a child mother. like you know there is always comparison going on between like like how you said in people say that oh bachcha kar lo is sachcha to aap bachcha kar lo yeah so what are those more i mean that is the most basic one i mean that's something that you know every dog mother hears till she actually produce a human child ki lo kar liya theek hai ab chup rehna but what are the most common misconception that you feel is you know um, in our in our culture in our, in our society there is between a dog mother and and a human mother human child mother see people say a lot of things but personally for me i feel the to start off the biggest misconception is the comparison i think there is no chance that you can equate the two they are at no level similar uh ha huh, they might be similar maybe but uh, you cannot equate the two and hence you cannot compare them even so to even think that 
इनको इक्वेट कर ले या इनको कंपेयर कर ले इज अ मिसकनसेप्शन आप ऐसा कर ही नहीं सकते हो दे आर टू वेरी वेरी डिफरेंट थिंग्स द ओनली थिंग आई फील व्हिच इज कॉमन इज द होल फीलिंग द होल फीलिंग ऑफ सेटिस्फैक्शन दैट यू गेट द होल फीलिंग ऑफ फुलफिलमेंट दैट यू गेट फ्रॉम नर्चरिंग अ चाइल्ड द होल फीलिंग ऑफ पीस ऑफ माइंड दैट यू गेट व्हेन योर किड ब्लॉसम्स यू नो दैट फीलिंग्स मे बी कॉमन but uh, the biggest misconception is that people equate the two relationships or compare them you shouldn't it cannot be done yeah okay um as a dog parent what are the most life changing you know uh, lesson or what are the lesson that you have learned from 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 puppets that you actually apply to your human relationships okay. and there there has to be there's so many of them yeah, yeah. But, पूरा दिन ही डज लाइक सो मेनी थिंग्स एंड आई जस्ट कीप लर्निंग एंड आई थिंक द बिगेस्ट थिंग दैट आई लर्न फ्रॉम हिम विच इज वेरी लेस इन आर लाइफ दीज डेज and for me per se also life gets very tough sometimes and i start thinking a certain way which is not right it's kind of skewed but then how he inspires me every day is that he just uh, tells me to be positive in everything he does like even if i step out of the house and go to the terrace for like one and a half minutes the grand welcome that i come and get when i get back at home the grand welcome that i get like in in two minutes of my absence if this is the com- amount of love i'm going to get is it's just so much uh, positivity and the reminder that he gives me every morning when he is doing potty you know what he does is that he throws back some sand on his poop so so every day i just feel that this is his message to me very subtly put that uh, whatever shit life gives you just put some sand over it move on <laughs> life is bigger just be positive so i think that's the only message that he gives me big and loud and i apply it in every aspect of my life at least i try to <laughs> and if i forget he reminds me again <laughs> okay, so how do you plan better to celebrate mothers day with poppins Ah, uh, if you've seen our page, you'd know that every occasion, whether it's big, small, medium, whatever, we just travel. And when we don't have the time, then we do like a day's trip or something. And when that's also not possible, we take Poppins for car gummies. He loves it. The sparkle in his eyes. I mean, I love to see it. So most certainly on Mother's Day also, we'll be like going out in the car somewhere, or maybe we'll do like a tiny trip or something. And also Poppins and I, it's it's solely our thing that we go to run in the neighborhood. So just both of us and we run together. And I just love that he matches up with my speed. He knows that he can't. I can't run so fast like him. So he matches up with my speed. and we just like endlessly run for 10 minutes and we come back home very happy <laughs> lovely talking to you thank you so much i hope you have great great time and i have a great great mothers day thank with you. poppins I, i really hope to plan something for you with his father yeah i yeah, will do something I'll certainly do something chalo okay. it was have a great day have a great mothers day as well yeah you too you too i, I can already see you having fun today